my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 100 27, episode number 127, and this is based off a question from last night at an event in LA. It was the, the book launch for the Glute Bible. We were there speaking on a panel about health and fitness, the future of health and fitness, and, and one of the questions came up. I don't even remember the specific question, but what it went into was about how I train every single day and why I train every single day. And I just touched on it really quick there, but it's something that I feel pretty fucking strongly about. I don't do anything I don't feel pretty strongly about. So we're going to talk about why I train every day. And if maybe you do, or you're thinking about it, or sometimes you go without a day off or a rest day, maybe it's not the end of the fucking world. We're going to get a deep dive into how training every day can work, can be possible, can be beneficial, and personally, why does I do it? Am I, am I prescribing that for other people? Not necessarily, but why it works for me, and you take the information on this show, and you do what you want to fucking do with it. But anyway, this is Steve Says, episode number 126. As you know on this show, some people will hate, but most can relate. This is not always a shit that you maybe want to hear, but it's just shit that you fucking need to hear. This is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your fitness, your finances. You could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own motherfucking terms. Or focusing on the mind, the body, business, whatever it takes to have that role model mindset. How to operate to dominate with your discipline, your energy, your confidence, being an action taker, a bold move maker, a risk taker, and your freak fucking self. That's what this is all about. So we're going to talk about why I train every single day. And how does it fucking work? I mean, I, at my young age of 27 years old. How am I able to handle it? How do, I, how do I not need a day off? And actually this year from, I can't even remember the last time I had a fucking day off. I really don't even remember. I know that for sure there was none this year because January 1st, we set a goal and me and the, the freak show and Tyson, 11 years old, just turned 11 this year. We haven't, we've taken zero fucking days off, zero rest days. And somehow we're still kicking, still feeling fucking good, still live and, and more energy and in better fucking shape than ever. At 27 years of age, and he's now at 11. But why I train every day? Because this here's the first thing. I speak to men all the time about, about coming to the project. When we get and the, and the four pillars of the project are the family, the fitness, the finances, and then the faith. So you can have fulfillment in your fucking life. So when we get to the, the fitness pillar, I can't understand it. I can't even fucking comprehend it in my bones how a, a, a man or anyone, a fucking human, anyone can say, when, they, when I ask them how often they work out or whatever, we get into those questions. And they, they say they work out maybe two to three times a week or three to four times a week. First of all, what the fuck does that even mean? Two to three times? Is it two or is it three? Like what determines whether it's two or three? And how the fuck is it only two to three times a week when there's seven motherfucking days in a week? Even four, three to four times, four to five times. I can't comprehend it. And that's why I'm going to go a deep dive into why I train every single day. And I don't mean just exercise. I don't mean doing a little a little bike ride or something or a little jog or a little three mile run or whatever. I'm talking about training. A real fucking session, training session every motherfucking day. There has been no days off this year. We're in the middle of August, whatever the, whatever the fuck the date is. I don't even remember the last time. The last decade, there's maybe double digit days off. I don't even know there's any days off really when I come to think of it because a day off might have been doing a, a six mile hike or some shit and that's called a day off. So probably, I, don't even, I can't even... I can't even think of when the last day off was, but I can't take it when a motherfucker says they train two to three days a week or four, even four to five days a week, five to six, five. What the fuck does that mean? Like, I, I, that's just the, the first, to start things off. But so why do I personally train? And, and you take, again, take this information and do whatever the fuck you want with it. Now, listen, if you're coming to me for your health advice, your, your, your doctor advice, your medical advice or whatever the fuck, that's on you. That's your fucking stupidity, but whatever. Take this stuff and do what you want with it. But I'll tell you what, it is certainly fucking possible to train every motherfucking day and not to need any fucking days off. The first reason is for the, the mental fucking toughness, the mental, mental, emotional therapy, the physical therapy, first of all, also 
But really, more than that, the fucking mental and emotional therapy. Why would I not want that mental toughness training every day? Because it's not what I'm fucking gaining or straining or whatever else. It's what I'm getting rid of, what I'm fucking defeating, what I'm destroying. Destroying those, in, the inner demon, the inner bitch, the fucking negativity and, and the vices and the complacency and the laziness and the motherfucking excuses. Releasing all that bullshit from your existence, from your fucking life. That's why I do it every fucking day. Why would I not want to do, release and kill and destroy and defeat that shit every fucking day? Why would I take, want to take a day off from doing all that? Releasing that energy and rage and fear and anxiety and pain and hate and just testosterone. Just getting it out. On top of that, training every day makes me prepared for anything that day. Like when I'm busting my ass and... Listen, it's, it's also having it in my head, knowing I have this scary, fearful thing on my calendar every fucking day. Like, there's that little bit of edge knowing that that workout's coming up because I'm not just going through the motherfucking motions. We're going to fucking push hard. We're going to lift the fucking weights so the, so the muscle's peeling off the motherfucking bone. That's how we're talking about training. Training fucking hard. So knowing that that's there, knowing that I'm, I have that coming up, it keeps you on edge, it keeps you sharp, keeps you fucking focused. Keeps you mentally fucking locked on, alert, alive, a fucking wake and motherfucking breathing. And once you do it, you, you once it's done, you're fucking ready for anything that day. The rest of the day is going to be a fucking joke. Going to be easy. Going to be zero motherfucking problems that day. Because it's just part of the routine, the rhythm, getting your fucking beats down. Ba bop, ba bop, ba bop. Like the training is just part of fucking life. I can't. Forget about it. I can't imagine even the, the, the feeling of a day off, like the, the feeling of not training. It's fucking, if, if the, listen, if the worst thing that you're doing in a day is not taking a break from working out, which feels fucking awesome and is making you better and stronger and fucking healthier and all those benefits I already just fucking said, if that's the worst part of your day, that is an awesome motherfucking day. That's an awesome motherfucking day. But why do I do it? Because it feels fucking good. It just feels right to train every fucking day. It feels right to fucking bust my ass every day. It feels wrong if I don't. Why would I do something that feels wrong when it feels fucking right? Every day the goal is to do the right motherfucking thing. To keep progressing, to keep moving forward. Also training every day, the, the energy and the thought before the training session. And then the energy and the focus and fire, the motherfucking fire before, during and after, it lasts all day. Before the training session, there's energy and fire anticipating, knowing that this fucking battle, this war, this fucking epic thing is going to fucking happen that day. We're going, you're going to fucking war with yourself every motherfucking day. Knowing that it's going to happen keeps you sharp and on edge and focused and aggressive and on motherfucking fire. Uh, waking up on time and on fire every fucking morning. And then of course the energy and fire during the session itself. And then afterwards that shit just carries over. Like I just finished the boxing training session and that's why I'm fucking lit up right now. Been up since early this morning. Get up early every fucking morning. It's whatever time it is now. It's Six is it six thirty p.m. Fucking late, later, and still full of fucking energy, still ready to fucking roll. Because having that training session there all the time, having those fucking beats down all the time. On top of that, just on a surface level, and these are all just surface level. We're gonna get a little deeper in a fucking second, so stay tuned for the real reasons why. This is all just the outer surface level shit. But other than the energy and the fire all day, even just the content, we record videos, we get pictures and, and the fucking the, the Instagrams and all this other stuff, live videos, pictures, fucking stories, all that shit. So we're creating content. Sometimes a live full training session will do a full entire session where we can help other people, help other people transform their lives for fucking free, where they can follow along on a training session. Might be for getting shots of a clothing brand. Creating content, it's content creation, but also creativity. When you're training, when you're moving, when your motherfucking blood's flowing, when you're pushing yourself, when you're burying yourself, when you're fucking suffering. Shit will not, shit that wouldn't have surfaced if you weren't suffering. Creativity that's gonna happen, it will spark the creativity. I've made millions of fucking dollars, literally millions of dollars while working out. Basically, I, I get trained to fucking work. I'm a professional athlete, motherfucker. Because the idea is the creativity. The solved problems, the decisions that are made, fucking taking notes sometimes in the middle of a fucking workout because shit just pops in your fucking brain because the juices are flowing, the blood is flowing, the testosterone is fucking flowing, and you're coming up with all kinds of shit 
that would not have surfaced without the suffering. The suffering causes those things to fucking bubble up and rise to the surface. Next thing is, next reason is the connections, the connections you're making when you're training with other people. When you're training with your family, imagine training and working out with your kids. Training with the kids several in the summer almost every day. When they're in school at least three to four times a week. Talk about fucking connecting. What better fucking way to connect? You might train. Think about this. You're training. You're getting your exercise in with family. Maybe you have some friends join you in the family. Maybe you're outdoors. So you're getting the outdoors and the sun and the fresh fucking air. Talk about a force multiplier. Talk about a fucking hour of motherfucking power. It doesn't get any more powerful than that. It doesn't get any more grateful than that. It doesn't get any more impactful than that. It's a force motherfucking multiplier. When you start thinking about that. It's a new self of you being rebuilt every day. That's why I train every motherfucking day. It's also just to keep, keep me on my A game. Keep me on my A game. Keep me fucking sharp. Keep me alert. Keep me ready. Awake. Focused. Dialed in. Laser beam motherfucking focused. All day, every day. All in, all out, all the motherfucking time. That's why I train every motherfucking day. Also, one of the other reasons I do it, and again, we're still on the surface level. We're going to get to a deeper, darker fucking level in a second. But the other, other weight reason, because other motherfuckers either say you can't, they can't do it, you shouldn't do it, or they won't fucking do it. To me, training every day when other motherfuckers are taking days off, you keep wrestling, motherfucker. I'm going to keep fucking training. To me, it's a competitive edge. Motherfuckers can't keep up. They don't have the bandwidth to keep up. They don't have the mental focus, the mental toughness, the fucking durability, the endurance to keep up. To me, it's a competitive advantage. To me, it's a fucking, it's a power play. By training every motherfucking day. You go sit on your couch for a day. And do your active recovery. Or whatever the fuck you want to call it. That ain't for me. That shit ain't for me. It's also just to show it's possible. You're told you you need your rest. Of course you need your rest. And I'm recovering like a motherfucker. I have a recovery slot every day. See that's the problem. Motherfuckers need those rest days. Because their their days are not. not, They're not being productive as you can be. You're not having your recovery during the day. You're not taking care of yourself the right way. You're not getting the right amount of sleep. You're not eating healthy enough. You're not warming up the right way. You're not taking care of your mental and your emotional and your physical body the way you should. So of course you need a day off and a week off and you can only work out two to three times a week, three to four times a week, whatever the fuck it is. So I'm also doing to show it's motherfucking possible. Showing what the human body's capable of. We're capable of so much fucking more than, than 90% of the fucking people do and waste their fucking big sack of flesh and bones, big fucking sack of blood that they're just lopping around the fucking world, wasting it. Human body is capable of so much more than we, than we even can know, that we even can fucking comprehend, that we'll ever understand. We'll be long gone and they'll still be discovering new things about the fucking human body, what it's capable of. More than we fucking even know. More than we even can believe. I'm going to sh- find out what the fuck it's capable of. That's what I'm going to do. And show it's possible. Show it's possible to not have to take a day off or make a motherfucking excuse. Even when you're busy. Even when you're traveling. Even when you're sick. Even when you have family shit going on. Even when you're ra- raising a family and have kids. And fucking kids are born. And then kids are going to school. Then kids are going to college. Whatever the fuck the excuse is. Or you're running a business. You're an entrepreneur. You have a job and you're working all these hours and all this other stuff. Or there's even a death in the family. There's fucking injuries. You didn't get enough sleep. You're motherfucking tired. You're making motherfucking excuses is what you're doing. You're fucking capable of more. You're fucking better than that. And the universe needs you at your motherfucking A game and the best version of you. So quit bullshitting. I also do because I want to be in fucking charge. I'm going to call the shots. I'm going to be in control of what the fuck I do. I'm not taking a rest because someone else says I need it. Listen, I, I do it just because I fucking want to. I just want to train every day. If I didn't want to train, I wouldn't train. I fucking want to. Why the fuck not? I'm going to be in control. I'm going to be in charge. It's a lot worse shit I could be doing on a daily basis. A lot worse shit. Because listen, also... I want to do hard shit every fucking day. I want to challenge myself every motherfucking day. I want something to get excited about every fucking day. I want something that's fun to look forward to every fucking day. I want something to fear. Something that puts a little bit of fucking fear in my bones every motherfucking day. And knowing that that training session is out there, knowing that it's looming out there, does that. It gives the something excited. It gives us something fun. It gives us something to fear. It gives the hard shit every fucking day. That suffering that's going to surface these other levels of the other versions of yourself, the best versions of yourself. Because listen, I don't believe in having bad motherfucking days. 
I do not believe in having bad motherfucking days. And I don't have bad days. I have fucking awesome days and fucking awesomer days. And it's a fucking not a word. It is now, motherfucker. I don't believe in bad days. I don't have bad days. And, and people think, oh, sure, everyone has bad days. No, they don't, motherfucker. You have a bad day if you let yourself. If you decide to have a bad day, then you have a bad day. You have to decide to have a bad day. I don't, I don't, I, I decide to have a good fucking day every day and I control it. I'm going to be in charge of my fucking day. I'm going to be in charge and, and control my fucking agenda and my schedule and my day. So I don't believe in having bad days and missing a workout, not training would be a bad day. That would miss that family connection, that self connection, that connection to the fucking universe, that connection to the outdoors, connection to the challenge, the struggle, the stress, the hardship, the suffering that I'm looking for every day to grow and build and get better and motherfucking explode. That personal development every day. That's what I'm getting out of training every day. Listen, we are meant to move. Your body is meant to move. We're meant to suffer. We're meant to challenge yourself. You're meant to struggle daily on a daily fucking basis. Again, your bad day is chosen by you. Your bad day is created by you and no one else. I don't give a fuck what's going on. You make it a bad day and nothing or no one else. The other, other part of training every day is a, a fucking deeper, a deeper level of fucking gratitude, a deeper level than, than you motherfuckers talk about on your little Instagram posts, your little pictures you put, the little flowers and your gratitude and you're grateful for this and grateful for that and the bullshit. It's a gratitude thing to train every day because I can, motherfucker. Because I can, because I'm capable of doing it. Because I'm fucking alive. Because I'm fucking breathing. I'm feeling. I'm fucking moving. You know who can't work out every day? Do you know who can't work out every day? Dead motherfuckers can't work out every day. A dead motherfucker cannot work out every day. The only motherfucker that doesn't have any problems is a dead motherfucker. And if my vice is training, that's a pretty damn good vice to have. There's much worse things you could be addicted to other than training. And no one said overtraining. No one said overdoing it. If you're doing it the smart way and you're taking care of yourself and getting the right, the right sleep, the right nutrients, the right recovery, the right mental and emotional training and focus and, 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 and regeneration that you need on a daily basis. Imagine if you're doing that shit on a daily basis, I'm getting a rest and recovery every motherfucking day. Every motherfucking day. Doesn't mean I don't, I don't need to train. Doesn't mean I have to stop fucking training. Much, much worse things you could be addicted to fucking food and drugs and alcohol and fucking porn. Those are for weak, soft men, little bitch ass motherfuckers. I think if you drink, we'll talk about a different, 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 whole different topic, but drinking alcohol is fucking weakness. Drinking alcohol is a vice. It's a fucking cover up. It's a patch. It's fucking bullshit. It's weak. It's motherfucking soft. Yeah, it's fucking soft. Those are for weak, fucking soft men. And I'll tell you what, if it wasn't this, if it wasn't a training vice, it'd be some other motherfucking vice. That's a pretty damn good vice to have, training every motherfucking day. Something That is a good addiction to have, I'll tell you that. No days, no, there's no day that I want to not be fucking feeling good. And I do it just because I fucking want to. Again, if I didn't want to, I wouldn't. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You think anyone ever died on their deathbed and, and said, I wish I would have took it, taken less care of my body. I wish I would have worked out less. I would have been less healthier. Wish I would have done less. I would have moved less. Fuck no. When you're on your deathbed, you're going to wish you would have done it. You're going to wish you didn't take days off, take that shit for granted. And on a deeper level, let's go, to, let's go to this. What if you die today, motherfucker? What if you fucking die today? You want your last fucking day to be an, an off day? A fucking rest day? A cheat day? An average day? You want to die an average motherfucker? Take a day off, you're just an average day. It's an average day. To me, that's an average day. That is not a fucking solid day. That's a weak, soft, half assery fucking day. That is an average day, and I am not going to die. A, a, a rest day will not be my last motherfucking day. And that is the deepest level of why I train every day. So that my last day is not a fucking rest day. My last day is not an average fucking day. So if I did get fucking struck by lightning and fucking run over by a motherfucking truck, I know I finished off. I went out with an awesome motherfucking day. And that's the main reason why I train every day. I want to hear what your thoughts on it. Here, how many days do you train a week? Is it two to three times? Is it every motherfucking day? 
Do you need the rest recovery? I want to hear about it. Open it up for discussion. Send me a message. Let's talk about it. I could also show you how it could be possible to train every day with no fucking issue. If you're taking care of all the other areas of your life, it's easy. It's a necessity. It's part of the beats and rhythm of the personal development and the success to train every fucking day. When you take care of all those other wasted times and wasted energy, all the energy and emotion you're pouring into other fucking shit, wasting it. Go waste in the fucking gym. Go waste on a couple hundred push-ups, squat thrusts. Go do a couple hundred fucking pull-ups instead of wasting energy and emotion on bullshit. It's your last day. It's not an average motherfucking day. And that's why I train every fucking day. I want to hear about it. I want to hear what you have to say about it. Put it in the comments. Send me a private message. Let's talk about it. I will talk to you later. This is Steve Says, episode number 127. And you are fucking awesome. No excuses.